A little before two this afternoon, as a white Toyota minivan approached the main entrance of the Confucius Chinese Language Institute at the Karachi University in Pakistan, a woman wearing a black burqa approached this van and suddenly there was a massive explosion. Three Chinese language professors, including the director of the Confucius Institute, were killed in this suicide attack. This is the first major terror strike in Pakistan after Shahbaz Sharif took over and the second major targeting of the Chinese in the past two years. Our top story is from Karachi, Pakistan this evening. A deadly blast at the entrance of the Karachi University just before 2 p.m. on Tuesday. The blast left four people, including three Chinese professors dead and three, including a police officer escorting the Toyota van, injured. A blast caught on CCTV cameras outside the Confucius Chinese Language Institute at the Karachi University. Watch these images carefully. A burqa-clad woman was seen waiting for the van to come closer to the university gate. As soon as the van approached the university gate, the black burqa-clad woman approached the bus and there was a loud explosion and a massive ball of fire engulfed the van. Your van up in the hostel says that institute gives an authority. Initial report, your bomb disposal, and the explosion that is a level that you know, but this is what we have to verify. Karachi police scanned CCTV images of the area and concluded that the burqa clad woman and her accomplices had carried out a series of reconnaissance missions earlier. The Baloch Liberation Army claimed responsibility for the suicide attack. The Baloch army claimed Shani Baloch was a suicide bomber. They released her image after the attack. Those killed in the suicide attack include the director of the Confucius Institute, Huang Guiping, and two other Chinese nationals teaching at the university, Ding Muping and Chen Sai. The dead include the Pakistani driver, Khalid. Three others, including Wang Yujong, a Chinese language teacher, and Hamid, a security officer accompanying the Chinese professors, were injured. There were a couple of Chinese uh, who were part of the faculty for uh, uh, the Karachi University. And uh, from the initial reports, uh, what has transpired is that they were coming uh, in this poster which is on your left. And there was an explosion which uh, took place from the right side of the vehicle. Pakistan's Prime Minister Shahbaz Sharif and the government claimed this was a deliberate plot to target Iron Brother China. Initial investigations indicate that the suicide bomber carried at least three to four kgs of high-grade explosives and ball bearings in the suicide vest under the burqa. This is the first terror strike on Chinese nationals after Chinese engineers were killed in the Dasu Dam terror attack that claimed nine Chinese lives in July 2021. Tehreek-e Taliban Pakistan had claimed responsibility for that Dasu Dam terror strike. Bureau report, India Today. And let's get the latest on this big story. I have Kanwar Naeem, a senior Pakistani journalist who joins us from Islamabad. Kanwar, what more can you tell us about the terror strike and this, this suspected suicide bomber uh, who's said to be a highly educated Baloch woman? What more is known? Uh, actually, this is as uh, it was being discussed in the report that it is the first time since Sheba Sharif took the seat as a Prime Minister of Pakistan, an attack on Chinese national, and there has been a debate in Pakistan about the CPAC authorities' closure. So we can see the, uh, the the links of these things. We can see it jointly because uh, since last week we have been uh, hearing about the closure of CPAC authority, and there is a pro rift between the political parties upon it, and the, the supporters have been taking. Uh, uh, for their political parties like on CPEC authority. Now the attack on Chinese national, because as you know, Pakistan and China uh, share a great bound of friendships and uh, they call we call our friendship higher than Himalayas and deeper than oceans. So in the case when we are uh, already going under political crisis yes. and things, situations are not under control in Pakistan when it comes to politics, 
the issue of Punjab Assembly is yet to be resolved. Shahbaz Sharif has been facing accusation of uh, theft and stuff like that, which has been prom uh, propagated by uh, Pakistan Tariq and Saab and its supporters. So, yes. meanwhile, such a threat, the situation can get worse if, if uh, as uh, Murad Saeed visited Chinese consulate today and he assured Chinese delegates and Chinese authorities they will bring the, uh, bring the terrorists to justice. But this is something which we should be worried and we are worried because uh, China is the, uh, right now Pakistan needs China a lot because we are going under uh, political crisis. Our economy, uh, our economy is not in very sound shape. We yes. are going after IMF's uh, bill as Mifta Ismail, the new uh, finance minister of Pakistan said that, that they, are, they are going to discuss the technical details of the package of IMF. So we cannot afford such attacks. And uh, as you ask that, what can I tell you more about it? So we are waiting uh, more news to come out. Uh, as far as uh, if you talk right now, we only know that the Balochistan Liberation Army has accepted that they are behind this terrorist attack. And one thing which is unusual so far is this is the first time that they used a woman suicide bomber, a suspected woman uh, suicide bomber to be uh, used in uh, in this bomb blast, so at the festival of Eid is uh, at the corner, and we are we have busy streets, busy shopping malls, busy oh, activities. Absolutely, so, there is clear and present danger. But explain this to us: when there was an attack on Chinese engineers at the Dasu Dam in July 2021, China had demanded a compensation of 38 million dollars, and apparently more than 11 million dollars had to be paid. Um, is there an apprehension that? That demand would come once again at the Confucius Institute with three Chinese professors killed, one injured. And are the Chinese increasingly coming under threat, especially in and around Balochistan? There is a continuous tension in Balochistan and Pakistan and there are external factors involved in it. There are internal factors involved in it. Uh, this is true. We cannot deny the fact that there is there has been a continuous tension in Balochistan. And when it comes to Chinese delegation, there again there are external pressures, there are external threats. Because you know, Pakistan and China they are going to make a joint collaboration in the form of CPAC and the dam which is being constructed in the northern areas of Pakistan, and the work under uh, work is under progress in Balochistan. So obviously, Chinese have been targeted in the past as well, and they are being targeted. Once again, which okay. is uh, which is very unwelcoming situation of for Pakistan. And if our government and security agencies and all the relevant authorities, they have to stop it at some point of time okay. in the early future, and they should stop it right now. Because keep tracking that story, Kanwar. I will come back to you for more. But for the moment, many thanks for joining me.